Okay, a uh, new bike check slash update on my Diamondback Response Stinger 26. Um, I got some new brake rotors today. I'll put them in a video later. But they have more surface area. And they're not as wavy. As you can see, I was truing one with that right there and sliced the hell out of my finger and had to go to the emergency room. Right now I'm running a 38 tooth in the front and a 1x7 with mixed matched handlebars. Those are the Diamondback handlebar, I mean handle grips, sorry, and that's off of a Mongoose full suspension. Um, the middle cable is gone. That's for the front derailleur, which is on my trunk and a bag with the other cranks. Uh, I just ordered a new bottom bracket, new European bottom bracket. They just came in two days ago. Um, there's a Vol uh, mountain bike. Uh, strapless toe clips and they don't take a strap and these pedals already had the bolts already drilled and all I had to do was put these there but there's a bracket that goes there but it won't fit on any pedal that I have and I have a lot um, another thing I found out by calling Diamondback is a Shimano SIS, but it says six speed, and that kind of, I was like, why is that? And they said it can run anywhere from six to eight speed. Um, right there is my felt uh, chain stay thing. Um, I need to get a chain stay up here for this. Um, I got this. If anyone can tell me what brand that is, it came off my mom's GT. That'd be great. Right there is a good focus of the logo. It's a C and a D, I believe. Uh, I made two Ranger bands out of some old inner tubes I got to hold the water bottles in place so they're not rattling. Uh, I am now a mountain bike guru member, so hit me up if you need any info on any of that. Um, I put a quick release on. It had the micro adjust, I believe was what it is. Um, but I... Uh, also took off the regular seat because it was peeling and the nose and I put this really nice Sephra Arc dual density Kevlar seat and it's my favorite seat. I've put a lot of miles on it. If you can't tell, it came new. Um, I'm running a FSA headset. It's not the pig or anything fancy. No carbon fiber, even. It's just plastic spacers. Um, regular riser stem. It's, I'm getting uh, one with a bigger rise from my buddy. As you can see, it's a 26. Uh, I made those. <laughs> um, but yeah, the biggest update is the 1x7 group set and... They use Saval. Um, I don't know if they're even really Saval. They might be some knockoff because it says Mount Saval. <clears throat> but it has a registered trademark. And they do make these. But I got it off of eBay for like $3. And I still am riding my Titec. Barns are probably the best barns ever. My other one snapped, but I love these. The them and wore off. You can see it a little bit right there. Tie tech. 
But yeah, that's my cockpit. This is my light that goes right there. It comes off. Um, it's got blink. And then it's got constant. I believe it's only 300 lumens, but it does the job. That also can hold any other planet bike accessory. Like, they make cameras, uh, other lights, a lot of other things. Um, but, yep, I'm here at the Waynesburg Trailhead doing a spike check. We got an awesome new stand with all these awesome new part tools, uh, part tool wrenches. As you can see, part tool, they didn't go cheap. Um, I don't know this brand, but some nice rubber coated screwdrivers so you don't scratch your bike up. It's a smart electrician, so yeah, that's probably why they're rubber coated. <laughs> uh, I'm still riding a mode forks. The travel on them is awesome. I haven't bought them out on them yet. And right over here, someone's used it because that's a magnet. It goes right up here. And there's a nice gauge down there. But this thing, this one's called the Dero Air Kit 3 and this one over here is the Dero Fix It and I'll get it steady so if you want that right there you can have it and as you can see it's got the cables for the tools and the trailhead here is huge. We have, there's one, two, three, four, five um, picnic tables in here and one bench. And there's two benches out there, a porta potty. Um, information about the trail, information about Williamsburg and a trash can and about a block down the road that way. <laughs> South is um, the community center with a free water fountain, but they also have a Coke machine. But, yep. Um, let me know what you think about my Diamondback response. I'm going to keep the other disc brakes until these go bad they even came with the hub attachment and the bolt pattern is the same so i have extra both of those those ones though they don't have the wave like this these ones do they do have coolant holes but they have a lot more surface area uh, i thought these were 160s at least i mean that's my hand and that's the disc rake. But I guess they're 140s. Because the new one's different. But they sent it to me for this model. So they must have put it on there. It's got the AET Advanced Enduro Technology written all over it. Um, <clears throat> mechanical discs. I'll never go hydraulic. Screw that. Just another hassle. If I was rich enough, I'd buy the Shimano DI-12, I believe, group set. The electronic one. No cables at all. But right now, I'm in love with it. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll subscribe back. 100 subscriber will win a custom bike. I got cruisers, low riders, BMX, mountain bike, street bike, you name it. I got a garage full. Alright, hit that like and subscribe. Win a new bike. Well, used vintage bike. And have fun. Alright, like and subscribe. Peace out.